Hey, what's going on guys? This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to set up a Google business profile. So most of you are going to see what I see, but some of you might see when you go to google.com slash business, you might see an option that says create a new business profile. So because I actually already did this once, then I deleted my profile and I'm, I'm reshooting this video. So I'm going to go to sign in. I just created a new email address. So I'm going to go to sign in. I'm going to enter my business name. Now this is the part that I believe last time I saw Oh, okay, here we go. Create a business with this name. I'm gonna create one for my own business. I already have one, I believe, but obviously you're gonna put in your business name here. Go ahead and hit continue. And I am going to say this is a service business and for you guys as well, right? If you're a limo company, you are a service business. So we'll go to next. And then this is a very important part that a lot of people get wrong. You're a limousine service, okay? So you wanna put limousine service here. Um, you do not want to put anything else I see. A lot of people make a mistake here and it's very important you are in the right category. So I'm gonna just say limousine service. And then <clears throat> where do you serve your customers? So I would suggest you wanna add the broad general area you're in. So for instance, let's say you're in, for me, I'm in Orange County, California, right? But my city is actually Huntington Beach. Now, when people ask, where do you live? Just because not everyone knows where Huntington Beach is, I'll say Orange County. If you're in, let's say Culver City, which is a city just outside of Los Angeles, I would say Los Angeles. So you generally want to not name your specific city. If you're in the Bay Area and let's say your business is in Pacifica, which is just south of San Francisco, it'd be better to just say San Francisco. So you always wanna choose the large general area that you, are, that you are based in. And keep in mind, you are going to be verifying your specific address, but this is letting Google know, hey, while I'm located maybe in this small city, I serve customers in this wide, region and so so for instance for if we're, if i'm pretending i'm a limo company i'm going to say orange county california so next so i am going to put our main office number two five notice this is spells limo and i'm going to put our website here and you're going to want to put your main line and your website as well i know it's optional but you definitely want to add that okay get discovered by people in your area I'm not going to check either of these because I just don't want a bunch of spam emails, but you might want these things. Let's hit continue. And soon we're going to get to the spot where it asks us, okay, so this is really the most important piece. And this is where I notice a lot of our clients having issues. So you can't use a PO box. It's got to be an address you can obviously get mail to, but no PO boxes. For many of you, it's going to be your home address. I know most of you, especially small operators, you don't have an office. Most of you don't need an office. I've got clients that have you know a huge fleet that they don't even have an office they just actually rent like a parking space where they park their vehicles but many of them work from home and so what you want to do here is you want to put an address that is likely going to be your home address if you have someone you know that is within a city that has an address that is very close to other addresses that rank uh, let me show you an example here because this is very important Okay, so I'm searching Washington DC limo service and keep in mind, I'm searching from Huntington Beach. I'm not going to use precise location. I'm gonna just say not now. I'm on an incognito browser if you couldn't tell. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna go more businesses. And so notice the top three ranked businesses here. Let me make this a little smaller. The top three ranked businesses, uh, cause these are ads, right? These two are ads. The top three ranked are these three right here, right? And so what I really want to do is I want to see where those businesses are actually located because, and I cannot prove this, but it seems that, you know, these businesses are really ranked in the map based on their address. And so you'll notice that pretty much these three companies now, actually, I'm going to go back because this is kind of what people are going to see no matter where they're searching from, right? They're going to see these results, whether they're in Dubai or Kenya right? They're going to see these same three. Now, if you're searching from within Washington, DC, you're likely going to see local results, right? But when Google determines that you're not local, it's going to show you typically the same three listings. And so you'll notice that a lot of these companies are all within like this general little area here. And I have noticed when you start to do search engine optimization, it does help to be located in it might be a half mile, a mile of where the, you know, the ranked businesses are at. We can look at another city here. Let's check out Dallas and let's see how close the three ranked companies are. 
So there's this company here, this company here. So let's see, where's this one? Um, come on. Huh. Why are they not showing up? Okay, so this is a much larger region here. So you can see, um, really, they're ranking anyone in this huge general area here. So I guess my point is, if you're trying to rank for Dallas Limo Service, and let's say your home address is way up here, it's very likely not going to get ranked. So what you can do is, it, if it's possible to find somebody with an address that is more centrally located to the city you're in, or the airport, let's say you wanna rank for Dallas D. FW limo service. Now let's see what it shows in the map. Oh, of course, it's not even going to show us the, shows us this company, which that usually doesn't happen. Let's look for LAX limo service. That company picked a really good name that usually doesn't work. So you can see here, it's showing companies. Now I'm in Huntington Beach, so that might not be the best airport to search for. Let's do SFO limo service. Because it might be showing me, it, it can tell approximately where I'm at, I believe. Okay, so SFO limo service, you'll see, I'm guessing all of these companies are likely, yes, you can see that. They're likely pretty close to the airport. And so it's showing these three companies, SFO Driven, MGL, and AAA Limo. And all of these companies are close to the airport. So if, may, if you want a lot of airport, having a job near the airport is likely going to help. But anyways, guys, that's really the last step I'm going to go to. I'm not going to verify because, you know, I'm just doing this as a test case, but I can't tell you how valuable it is to be in the map and where you're located helps a lot. Now, I know many of you watching this are going to be like, Mark, you know, I can't get my address is my address. That's all I can get. And that's fine. Get something because just being in this map, people around you, are going to have a much higher chance of seeing your business if they're local to your address. So for instance, if someone's just down the street from you and they search, you know, just limo service, right? Or airport car service. Many times people, when they're searching for a local company, they're not going to put the city name because they know that Google knows where their location is. So they just search for airport car service or car service to such and such airport. You're going to show up there on the map there's a much higher likelihood, especially when you get some reviews and if your profile set up correctly, if you've categorized yourself as a limousine service, it's a much higher chance your ad is going to show up there. So very important to be strategic with this guys. Very important to select the right category. And a warning I wanna make, some of you might have a business profile that you did use a PO box and you've had it for maybe 10 years and Google has never taken it down it's very common that those are taken down. I highly recommend if you did not select the right category, do not change that category um, because it is very likely Google will do a manual review and they will just delist your business and you might not be able to get that same location. I've actually seen it happen before and it really is sad when it does and it can be incredibly frustrating. And many times they want video proof that you actually have the location. So make sure that when you're setting this up, you do it right the first time, you get your business verified correctly the first time in the right category, and preferably in a location that is close to wherever it is you wanna rank. And how you tell is just search. Search using an incognito browser. So what you have to do is you click, if you're on Chrome on the three dots, you go to incognito window, and then you search for the city name plus, let's say limo service. See where the top three companies are located. And if possible, Try to get an address around there. Again, I know this isn't easy. Maybe you have a friend, family member, someone else that has an address nearby. That will be so valuable in the years to come because this really matters a lot. People many times are looking for a local vendor. I mean, I frequently search for local vendors myself. Do I need a dry cleaner? Do I need uh, someone to clean my house, right? You're gonna search on Google and just do house cleaning. And most people, Many people go to the map. Many people click on the ads. I know that's surprising to, to a lot of you, but really we limo marketer wouldn't be in business if they didn't, right? Uh, but many people do actually look on the map. They check the reviews. So make sure um, you're getting as many of those as you can and get this set up guys, because I can't tell you how much of a difference it makes when somebody has this set up correctly. And for those of you new operators that just started a business, we now require our new clients to have this set up 
and have some reviews on their profile before we will even begin to work with them. So anyways, guys, I hope this uh, video was valuable. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on next week's video.